What is going on everyone and welcome back to another episode of New Comics This Week. Today we're going to be discussing all the upcoming new releases for November 23rd, 2022's New Comic Book Day. We have got a ton of awesome books to go over today. I'm so excited to talk about them with you guys. And as always, we're going to be talking about all the upcoming new releases from the major publishers and a ton of the indie ones as well. Their varying covers, which books I'm going to be picking up, and any sort of other important info that's going to help you decide which issues you're going to be grabbing this week. And now without further ado, let's get started on all these new comics. And if you guys didn't already know, down below in the description, I've got a chapter list of all the different publishers I'm going to be talking about today, so feel free to jump around this video. And so, kicking this list off first, I'm going to be going over AWA Upshot. They've got one coming out this week, and it is a series finale. It's Sacrament, issue number four. I highly recommend checking out the back issues for this one. This has been a fantastic read so far. That is the only one they've got, so moving on to Aftershock, the first one. I've talked about this one so many times, so hopefully this week it actually shows up at your LCS. It's a Calculated Man, issue number four. Moving on to Vineyard, issue number four, and then after that, we've got a one-shot. It's Foulness in the Walls, issue number one. It says, after a tragic loss, George hopes to rebuild his life. He moves to a new house, he gets a new job, and he starts dating the girl of his dreams. Sometimes, though, guilt can be as malevolent as an evil spirit. Sometimes ghosts follow you, and something is rotting in the walls of George's new house. Something is hungry. This is cover A, the main cover, and then we've got a Cavella variant. Moving on to a new series, it's Fear of a Red Planet, issue number one. Mars, 50 years from now, humanity's first Martian colony is no longer self-sustaining. Under the thumb of its corporate mining overlords, the surviving colonists slave away just to pay for resupply rockets from Earth with little or no hope of returning home. This is cover A, the main cover, and then we've got a 1 in 15 incentive variant. The only other one they've got this week is the 06 Protocol, issue number 2. Moving on to Archie Comics, they've got one brand new story this week. It's Betty and Veronica, Jumbo Comics Digest, issue number 309. Next up is Vault Comics, and they've got Mindset, issue number 5. This is cover A, the main cover, and then we've got a cover B, Boyle variant. Moving on the Zenoscope, they've got one, and it is the start of a brand new series. It's Robin Hood, Last Stop, issue number 1. Deep below, in the New York subway tunnel, something is feeding in secret off the flesh of the city's lost souls. Fighting to save herself and a handful of passengers after a train accident, Robin finds herself trapped underground and in the creature's deadly path. Can she save everyone before the killer in the shadows gets them first? This is cover A, the main. We've got a cover B, Talabao variant, a cover C, Lamov variant, and now finally a cover D, Garvey variant. Moving on to Bad Idea Comics, they've got Orc Island, issue number four, and then after that, we've got Oni Press, and the first one is a series finale. It's Jonah and the Unpossible Monsters, issue number 12. This is cover A, the main, and then we've got a cover B, all red variant. The only other one they've got this week is Action Journalism, issue number three. Continuing on the Blaze, they've got Lovecraft Unknown Caitiff, issue number three, and this one does have six different covers. This is cover A, the main. We've got a cover B, McKee variant, and now finally and cover C Moy R variant. If you are new to this channel, every time I do these videos, whenever there's a book that has a ton of different covers, I usually just go over cover A and a few of the ones that I really like, but be sure to check out the other ones online. Next up is Ahoy Comics. They've got Justice Warriors, issue number six. Here's cover A, the main, and then we've got a one in five incentive variant. After that is Sumerian Comics. They've got Sarah Lone, issue number two, and this one's got five different covers. Here's cover A, the main. We've got a cover B, Manchano variant, and now finally a one in five Marancho variant. Moving on to Titan Comics. The first one is Bloodborne, The Lady of the Lanterns, issue number three. This is cover A, the main. We've got a cover B, Stokely variant, and now finally a cover C, Worm variant. Next up, this is the only other one they've got this week, but it is the start of a brand new series. It's Cayman Rider, 01, issue number one. Aruto Hidden is a Cayman Rider, 01. Along with his trusty Huma Gear companion, Izo, he saved the world numerous times as an insectile superhero. But when his company, Hidden Intelligence, is attacked by a mysterious Ragnarok, Aruto must not only face the volcanic cluster cell-powered villain, but also his own past. This one's got seven different covers. This is cover A, the main. We've got a cover B, Chu variant, and now finally a cover C, photo variant. Moving on to Heavy Metal, they've got Heavy Metal, issue number 321. Here's cover A, the main, and then we've got a cover B, Hoffer variant. Next up is Valiant. They've got Bloodshot Unleashed, issue number three, and this one's got four different covers. Here's cover A, the main cover. We've got a cover B, Rifkin variant, and now finally a cover C, Riop variant. Moving on to Source Point Press, the first one is Mysterium, issue number one, so we've got a brand new series on the way. Conrad McDowell keeps encountering supernatural occurrences after moving 
moving into his new home. Along with a group of world-renowned mystics, they will try to help a ghostly presence cross to the other side, all before time runs out. Based on the popular board game Mysterium, this story will keep you guessing as to how, where, and who was behind the murder. Next one they've got this week is Heaven's Rejects, issue number three. And then the only other one they've got this week is a one-shot. It's Cover of Darkness Origins, issue number one, and this one features three standalone stories. Those are all the small indie publishers I'm going to be talking about this week, and out of all of them and all the books I just went over, the only one that I plan on grabbing is going to be from AWA Upshot. It's Sacrament, issue number four. But next up, let's talk about Image Comics and Boom Studios. All right, folks, first one today from Image is the Department of Truth, issue number 22. I am a huge fan of this series. I highly recommend it. James Tynion IV is absolutely killing it on this one, but you know, I have talked to a lot of people who don't really like this series at all. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I totally understand why. It's definitely a little bit on the slower side. They're taking their sweet time telling the story, but personally, I've been a big fan of it, and I'm really enjoying it. I definitely recommend trying to find a trade paperback for it, though. This one's got seven different covers. This is cover A, the main. We've got an It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia homage variant, and now finally a Berenz variant. Moving on to 8 Billion Genies, issue number 6. This is another one that I definitely recommend. Admittedly, I don't know what the eBay prices for this book are anymore, but I would definitely grab some of the extra printings for this one. I know they came out with a couple second and third prints for the earlier issues. Here's cover A, the main cover, and then we've got a cover B, Rug variant. Moving on to Vanish, issue number 3, and this one's got 10 different covers. This is cover A, the main. We've got a cover B, Warren Johnson variant, and now finally a 1 in 10 Connor incentive variant. After that is a Scorched, issue number 12. Here's cover A, the main cover, and then we've got a cover B variant. Moving on to What's the Furthest Place From Here, issue number 8. In the beginning when I started reviewing this series, I really didn't like it that much. I thought it was alright, but I was interested to see where they went with it. I'd say around issue number 4, maybe even pushing issue number 5, I was completely sold on it. If you can make it to around those issues, I'm sure you'll like it as well. And it says in this issue, we've got the origin of the Academy happening too. This is cover A, the main cover. We've got a cover B, Ortiz variant, and now finally a 1 in 25 Wing Guard in sent to variants. After that is Rogue Sun, issue number 8. This is cover A, the main cover, and then we've got a 1 in 25 Mana and Monty incentive variant. Continuing on, The Creep Show, issue number 3. Here's cover A, the main cover. We've got a cover B, Frank Cavilla variant, and now finally a 1 in 10 Kelly incentive variant. Next up is Image, issue number 8. After that is Hitomi, issue number 2. Here's cover A, the main, and then cover B, black variant. And now the next one, this is the final one coming out from Image this week, folks. It's The Magic Order, volume 3, issue number 5. Here's cover A, the main cover. We've got a cover B black and white variant, and now finally a cover C variant. Out of all those issues coming out from Image, I'm honestly getting quite a few of them. I'm grabbing the Department of Truth, issue number 22, 8 Billion Genies, issue number 6, Vanish, issue number 3, What's the Furthest Place From Here, issue number 8, Creepshow, issue number 3, and then finally Hitomi, issue number 2. So moving on to Boom Studios, they're having actually a pretty solid week as well. The first one is Stuff of Nightmares, issue number 3. It's written by R.L. Stein. You know, if you grew up reading Goosebumps, you gotta be reading this one too. This one's got six different covers. Here's cover A, the main. We've got a cover B, Ward variant, and now finally a 1 in 25 incentive variant. After that is the start of a brand new series, Once Upon a Time at the End of the World, issue number one. In this epic post-apocalyptic tale, Masio and Mezzi have never met anyone like each other, and they'll need all the help they can get to survive a planet ravaged by environmental catastrophe. This one's got 15 different covers. This is cover A, the main. We've got a cover B variant, and now finally a cover C, Yoon Glow in the Dark variant. Next up is Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, issue number 102, and this one's got eight different covers. This is cover A, the main. We've got a cover B, Frizen variant, and now finally a 1 in 10 Bond Bernardo incentive variant. After that is the Vampire Slayer, issue number 8. This one's got five different covers. This is cover A, the main. We've got a cover B, Go variant, and now finally a 1 in 10 and a Dito incentive variant. Continuing on with Boom Studios, we've got Eve, Children of the Moon, issue number 2. I was a big fan of that first issue, and I definitely recommend the first volume, and this one's got four different covers. This is cover A, the main. We've got a cover B, Lindsay variant, and now finally a 1 in 25 green incentive variant. This next one is the last one coming out from Boom Studios this week, and it is a series finale. We've got Orcs the Curse, issue number four. This is cover A, the main. We've got a cover B, Skinner variant, and now finally a 1 in 10 Skinner Virgin incentive variant. Out of all those issues, the ones I'm going to be grabbing from them are Stuff of Nightmares, issue number three. I'm going to give the Once Upon a Time at the End of the World, issue number one, a shot. And then finally, Eve, Children of the Moon, issue number two. And next up, let's talk about Dark Horse, IDW, and Dynamite. So these next few publishers are all having pretty light weeks, but the first one today from Dark Horse is Star Wars Hyperspace Stories issue number three. This is cover A, the main, and then we've got a cover B, Nord variant. The only other one they've got this week is a series finale for Parasomnia, the Dreaming God issue number four. 
This is cover A, the main cover, and then we've got a cover B, Luckert variant. I won't be grabbing either of them, so moving on to IDW, the first one is Sonic the Hedgehog, issue number 55. This is cover A, the main. We've got a cover B, Tramontano variant, and now finally a 1 in 10, 4 drain incentive variant. Moving on to a series finale for G.I. Joe, a real American hero, issue number 300, the big 300th issue for G.I. Joe. This one's got seven different covers. Here's cover A, the main cover. We've got a cover B, Sullivan variant, and now finally a cover C, Diaz variant. Next up is TMNT, Armageddon Game, issue number three. This one's got four different covers. This is cover A, the main. We've got a cover B, Federici variant, and now finally a cover C, Eastman variant. Next up is a series finale for Dark Spaces, Wildfire, issue number five. This one's got five different covers. This is cover A, the main. We've got a cover B, Sorrentino variant, and now finally a cover C, Rifkin variant. Next up is Transformers, Shattered Glass, volume two, issue number four. This is cover A, the main. We got a cover B Bertram variant, and now finally a 1 in 10 Phillips incentive variant. Now, for this next one, this is the last one coming out from IDW, and it is a one shot. We've got TMNT, Best of Leatherhead, issue number one. I won't be grabbing any of them, so moving on to Dynamite, the first one is Sirens Gate, issue number two. Here's cover A, the main. We've got a Garza variant, and now finally a 1 in 10 Mare incentive variant. Moving on to Unbreakable Red Sonia, issue number two, and this one's got 13 different covers. Here's cover A. We've got a cover B, Selena variant, and now finally a cover C, Mattioni variant. Moving on to Vampirella Strikes, issue number 7, and this one's got 12 different covers. This is cover A, the main. we got a cover B, Segovia variant, and now finally a cover C, Yoon variant. Those are all the issues from Dynamite, and I won't be grabbing any of them either, so next up, let's talk about DC Comics. Alright, all my DC fans, the first one today from them is Detective Comics, issue number 1066, and this one's got five different covers. Here's cover A. We've got a cover B, Williams cardstock variant, and now finally a cover C, Hot's 90s cardstock variant. Moving on to Action Comics, issue number 1049, and it says that this one's continued from Superman, Son of Kal El, issue number 17, and this one's got four different covers. Here's cover A, the main cover. We've got a cover B, Surdy variant, and now finally a cover C, Cruise 90s cardstock variant. Moving on to DC vs. Vampires, issue number 11. This is cover A. We've got a cover B, Surdy variant, and now finally a 1 in 25 Beach cardstock incentive variant. After that is the Human Target, issue number 9. This is cover A, the main cover. We've got a cover B, Hamner variant, and now finally a 1 in 25 Frank Avia incentive variant. Next one on my list this week from DC is Harley Quinn, issue number 24, and this one's got seven different covers. This is cover A. We've got a cover B, Bermejo cardstock variant, and now finally a cover C, John Boy Myers 90s cardstock variant. After that is Deathstroke Inc., issue number 15. It says this is the conclusion of year one. This is cover A, the main. We got a cover B, Massafara cardstock variant, and now finally a 1 in 25 limb cardstock incentive variant. Next one on my list this week is the start of a brand new series, folks. We've got Dark Crisis, the Army issue number one. This one's got four different covers. Here's cover A, the main. We got a cover B, Deladera variant, and now finally a cover C, tenfold variant. After that is Tim Drake, Robin issue number three, and this one's got five different covers. This is cover A. We've got a cover B, Mora cardstock variant, and now finally a cover C, Knock 90s cardstock variant. Moving on to Batman Fortress, issue number seven. Here's cover A, the main cover, and then we've got a cover B, Lashley variant. Next one on my list this week is DC Horror Presents, Sergeant Rock vs. the Army of the Dead, issue number three. This is cover A, the main cover. We've got a cover B, Frank Cavilla cardstock variant, and now finally a 1 in 25, Mitten cardstock incentive variant. Next one on my list is Batman, Gotham Knights, Gilded City, issue number two. This one's got four different covers, and this is cover A, the main. We've got a cover B, Perkins cardstock variant, and now finally a cover C, video game cardstock variant. Next up is Punchline, the Gotham game, issue number two, and this one's got eight different covers. This is cover A, the main. We've got a cover B, Chew cardstock variant, and now finally a cover C, Sosa Mica variant. Moving on the Young Justice targets, issue number five. This is cover A, the main cover, and then we've got a cover B, Hetrick cardstock variant. Continuing on with DC, we've got DC Mech, issue number five, and this one's got four different covers. This is cover A, the main. We've got a cover B, Mora variant, and now finally a 1 in 25 Ortiz cardstock incentive variant. After that is the Batman and Scooby-Doo Mysteries, issue number two, and then followed up with that. This is the last one coming out from DC this week, folks. It's Batman, the Audio Adventures, issue number three. This is cover A, the main cover, and then we've got a cover B, all red variant. I will be grabbing any of them from DC this week, but next up, let's finish this video now with Marvel Comics. And here we go, Marvel fans. First one today is The Amazing Spider-Man, issue number 14. I'm still getting the issues. I'm not caught up in the series. I'm still missing one of them. If you're still reading The Amazing Spider-Man, let me know what you think about this series. And this is a dark web prelude. It also has 19 different covers. This is cover A, the main. We got a Masafara variant A. And be on the lookout for a version variant B. And now finally, a 1 in 25 Maleev incentive variant. Now for this next one, we've got Daredevil, issue number 5. I want to know your opinions on this one down below too. I am reading this series and honestly, I'm enjoying it. I love the artwork, but I will admit I feel a little lost, slightly confused, mainly because I didn't finish reading Devil's Reign, and I didn't finish reading the other Daredevil series from Chip Zdarsky, but overall, I'm still really enjoying it. 
This one's got five different covers. This is cover A, the main. We've got a new variant A and be on the lookout for a Virgin variant B. And now finally, a one in 10 design incentive variant. After that is X-Men issue number 17. This is cover A, the main cover. We've got a Daughterman trading card variant. And now finally, a Mercado variant A and be on the lookout for a Virgin variant B. Moving on to X-Force issue number 34. This is cover A, the main cover. And then we've got a Mono variant. After that is Midnight Suns issue number three. And this one's got four different covers. Here's cover A, the main cover. We've got a Games variant. And now finally, a Nakayama variant. Next up is Deadly Neighborhood Spider-Man issue number two. I really didn't like that first issue at all. The artwork was phenomenal, but that was an extremely boring story in my opinion. This is cover A, the main cover, and then we've got a Mac variant. After that is the end of the arc for Avengers Forever. This is issue number 11. Here's cover A, the main cover, and then we've got a Red Wolf variant. Moving on to Alien, issue number three. Honestly, this new volume, I'm still going to be reading it. It's really not that bad, but I really like those first two volumes over this one so far. This one's got four different covers. This is cover A. We've got a Coelho variant, and now finally a 1 in 50 Perio incentive variant. Moving on to a brand new series, it's Star Wars Yoda, issue number one. This one's got 14 different covers. I'm only going to be going over three, just like a lot of the other ones, but check out these other ones online because a ton of them are awesome. This is cover A, the main. we got a 1 in 10 movie incentive and now a 1 in 100 Noto incentive variant. Moving on to Defenders Beyond, issue number 5. This is cover A, the main cover, and then we've got a Natiz Games variant. After that is All Out Avengers, issue number 3. Here's cover A. Then we've got a Momoko variant, and now finally a Zercher Timely variant. Continuing on with Marvel, we've got Miracle Man, The Silver Age, issue number 2. This is cover A, the main cover. we got a Shalvi variant, and now finally a 1 in 25 Cam and Coley incentive variant. Next one today is the start of a new series. It's Doctor Strange, Fall Sunrise, issue number 1. This one's got 5 different covers. This is cover A, the main. We got a Warren Johnson variant, and now finally a 1 in 50 Mac incentive variant. Next one I'm going to be going over is the start of another brand new series. We've got Star Wars Revelations, issue number one. This one's got six different covers. This is cover A, the main. We've got a Wingard variant A, and be on the lookout for a Virgin variant B cover. Now finally a 1 in 50 Chung incentive variant. Next one I'm going to be going over is a series finale for Janice Vell, Captain Marvel. This is issue number five. And now moving on, this next one is the last one coming out from Marvel this week, folks. We've got Ghost Rider, Danny Ketch, Marvel Tales, issue number one. And this one covers the Ghost Rider series from 1990, and it's issues one through three. This is cover A, the main cover, and then we've got a 1 in 50 Lubera incentive variant. Out of all those issues coming out from Marvel this week, the only ones I'm going to be grabbing are ASM issue number 14, Daredevil issue number 5, Alien issue number 3, and I'm probably going to be grabbing the Doctor Strange Fall Sunrise issue number 1. And now let's do a recap of these comics. So what do you guys think about this week's upcoming new comic book day? Honestly, I'd say there's a lot of really good books coming out, but the publisher that's about to kill it is going to be Image Comics this week. I mean, look at that lineup. We've got the Department of Truth, issue number 22. Eight Billion Genies, issue number six is coming out. Vanish, issue number three. I really like that first issue. I still haven't read the second one, but I've got it on my to-read pile. And then after that, I mean, what's the furthest place from here? Issue number eight is coming out. I'm telling you, it's going to be a huge week from Image. Boom Studios got stuff of nightmares coming out as well. So I want to hear your opinions as well about this new comic book day coming up. What books are you looking forward to and which ones you think I'm going to be missing out on? And thank you for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And if you don't miss out on any of my upcoming content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below with the notification bells turned on. You won't regret it. And I've got two more sitting off to the side here with more of my comic book content. Click on one of those and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.